Hi there, Chef Mark here for the Easy Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make spaghetti carbonara. Now this is a very simple dish to make. If you can boil water and fry bacon, then you can make this dish very easily. So I have my water on the boil right now. I have some spaghetti noodles here. I'm only going to use uh, a little bit. As you can see, that's probably plenty right there. Not very much. You know, a couple fingers worth right there. I'm going to throw that in. Add a pinch of salt. I just kind of eyeball it, you know. Probably about maybe a couple of teaspoons right there. And I'm going to give it a stir. Now these noodles won't take very long. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to be chopping my bacon up. I'm going to be chopping up my bacon. Now, this cutting board, I use this for raw meat only. I don't use this for anything else other than raw meat. Now when I chop up my bacon, uh, I'm, I'm cutting out maybe a quarter of an inch thick. Now this dish traditionally, uh, I think that most people would use pancetta or like, you know, cured uh, pork belly, that sort of thing. Most restaurants nowadays just use bacon. And uh, when I make this dish, I just get the cheapest bacon I can get. Because it's the bacon fat that you want and the bacon flavor. And the, the cheapest bacon will give you that. So anyways, uh, that's what I'm using today. And this will make a very excellent carbonara. Okay, so there I have it right there. So I have that cut up about a quarter of an inch wide. Okay, it'll now go into my frying pan. And that goes just like that. Just crank that up. Now, I will not be using this uh, cutting board again, so it's going into my dishwasher. And I'll put the knife in there as well, like that. Here we are. Okay, so now new cutting board. So now I can be chopping up some vegetables. What I'll be doing right now is uh, mushrooms and uh, some onion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the onion in about halfway through the cooking time of the bacon. If I put it in too soon, what's going to happen is it's probably going to burn on me. And I want to get a good caramelization on the onion. So I'm going to wait until the bacon is pretty much halfway cooked. Okay. So and while I'm here at the stove, I'm going to give my uh, spaghetti noodles another little stir, just like that. There we go. Probably turn those down a little bit like that. And I always make sure I wash all my fruit, everything. I wash my mushrooms, my green onion already. I wash my tomato. Okay, so, hope that's not too noisy. So, put that over there like that. There. Now the green onion is actually just for garnish. That's all that is. I'll just cut off the ugly bits here. The green onion will actually go on. That'll be one of the last things I put on is the green onion. Uh, for a, a garnish, you can use, uh, some people use arugula chopped spinach, or I've even used lettuce, like romaine lettuce, the dark parts of the uh, romaine, and that works very well. You don't want to put too much on, it's only as a garnish to give it some color. And But today I've chosen green onion. I'm trying to keep this dish as simple as possible. And the reason that I started this channel in the first place was because uh, years ago when I, when I found myself single after being married for a number of years, a lot of people had asked me, you know, are you getting enough to eat? You know, I said, well, of course I am, you know, because they didn't know I was a cook, you know, and uh, I guess they assumed that I was uh, going to starve to death or live on, you know, uh, wieners and craft dinner. Well, that just wasn't the case. So, but it suddenly dawned on me that uh, there were a lot of people, you know, in my position that possibly had very limited cooking skills or couldn't cook at all. And so I initially thought it'd be nice to approach a TV station with that concept. And then uh, I found out about YouTube. And I thought, well, that's a good idea. I should uh, do that on YouTube. So I ran the idea past quite a few people. And everyone thought that was a pretty good idea. And uh, my oldest boy really encouraged me a lot because he's a chef as well. And hopefully I can have him uh, do a guest spot on, on this channel. So anyways, I got my bacon just kind of sauteing away there right now. It's going to look really good. Yeah, that smells really good too. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to give my 
noodles to stir. Everything's looking really good. This dish does not take long to, to prepare. So anyways, getting back to what I was saying, uh, I thought it would be a, a handy idea for a lot of people to just, you know, learn how to prepare some very simple dishes. This channel is not about, you know, major gourmet dishes that take a lot of time, a lot of ingredients, and a lot of skill. I try and keep things as simple as possible. And uh, the whole idea is to make uh, a dish that is healthy, uh, economical, presents well, and, and most of all, is easy to prepare. You know, I have a friend who was recently uh, divorced. He eats pretty much all his meals in fast food restaurants morning, noon, and night, you know, which is kind of unfortunate. And he's tried to make a few things, but he just feels a bit overwhelmed with the whole cooking procedure, you know. So I just want to demonstrate that, you know, cooking is actually very easy to do. It's, it's not hard at all, or it doesn't have to be hard. Now, when you're slicing your mushrooms, I just like, I like to slice mine fairly thick. If you slice them too thin, they disappear on you. You know, when I see a mushroom, I want to be able to stab my fork and say, yeah, that's a mushroom. So just uh, don't cut your fingers. Take your time. I cut these about maybe an eighth of an inch thick at the most. There we are. Now I'm going to add the mushrooms shortly after I add my onions. And my onions, are, or pardon me, my bacon is looking really good right now. So I'm going to throw my onions in pretty soon. And they'll caramelize really well. Like I said, this fish does not take long to prepare at all. Okay, so that's looking really good. No. And like I said, I, I washed this tomato. I'm just going to wash it again because uh, it's been sitting there for a while on the counter. Now, the, the tomato will be a garnish as well. So I'm just going to use that as a garnish. And I'm just going to cut a few little pieces off, not very much, just like that. Yeah. And I'll put that in with my onions over here because they'll all kind of go in at the same time. And I have some Parmesan cheese right here. That'll be the, the very last thing that goes on is my Parmesan cheese. So, now I have a couple of eggs. And that's important. Now I'm just going to add my, my onions here. Okay, so my onions are now in. My onions are in with the bacon. You can see right there. Looking really good. Pretty soon I'll throw my mushrooms in. I just want those onions to caramelize really nice. That's important. Okay, so eggs. Now, here we go. Let's give it a good whack. Hope that's not too loud for the people in the control booth. Okay, so now this is important. A lot of fine restaurants will tell you they only use the yolk, and this is true, they do. Uh, you can use the yolk and the white as well. There's nothing wrong with that, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, I possibly could have got away with just doing one egg, but I'm going to use two anyways, just to make it nice and creamy, because this is actually going to be uh, our cream sauce. Uh, creamy in, in the sense of texture only. It's, there's actually no dairy in it whatsoever. Okay, so anyways, there's that there. Set that aside. Bacon and onions are caramelizing very nicely. Looking good. Looking really good. I can almost throw my mushrooms in pretty soon. And give the noodles a stir. Now a lot of people say, how do you know when your noodles are cooked? Well, I find the best way is to take one out. Put it in my mouth. If it's uh, if it tastes good to you and it's not too chewy, then you're going to be happy with it, and everyone else will be as well. Some people say, "Well, throw it at the wall. If it sticks, it's cooked." Well, I got nice paint in my walls. I don't want noodles sticking to my wall, so I don't do that. Uh, and really, you know, el, el dente is a term that's used to describe uh, noodles that are cooked firm. Uh, I like my noodles just a little bit past the firm part. Uh, some noodles I like al dente, like for instance shell noodles, because if you cook them too much, they go, they don't even look like a shell anymore, they fall apart. Uh, so I, I like my noodles just uh, maybe a minute or two past al dente. Anyways, uh, they're going to be good. 
Uh, when I was in Italy about, uh, oh, in 2017, I went to this very fine Italian restaurant, you know, checkered tablecloths, very authentic. And I had spaghetti carbonara there. And it was, uh, it was a very dry, he used rigatoni noodles. And uh, it was uh, a very dry type of pasta. It wasn't saucy at all. And uh, it worked, it was, it was very good. Lots of Parmesan and everything, and that, that's the way he served it. It was just wonderful. So anyways, I'm throwing mushrooms in now. But I prefer mine to be a little bit more saucy. So, okay. Mushrooms are in, bacon, onion. Okay, we're, we're getting close to the end here already. This doesn't take long. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. Okay. So now we've got our eggs here. Just keep stirring that. Now, what some people do, and I'm going to do it this way. You don't have to do it, but this is what I do. If you take some of your, your water from your noodles, maybe just a couple of, in this case, maybe a couple of tablespoons, because we, this is not uh, a big dish, but we're preparing this for maybe uh, two small eaters, or, or in my case, one big eater. So uh, what I'm preparing now, I can eat myself quite easily. So I'm just going to set that aside. That, that can be part of our sauce, if need be. So anyways, so like I said, what we have here now is our uh, mushrooms. Everything are looking really good. Bacon's looking good. It's getting crispier all the time. And like I said, the, the cheap bacon works great. It really does. It's nice and fatty. Uh, the only thing I would avoid when, in, with bacon is uh, avoid the, the real maple type bacon, because you don't want that sweet uh, taste. You'd want you know, like a you know, a good campfire bacon or smoke, smoky bacon is good, you know. Just ordinary breakfast bacon, but nothing too maple as possible. Okay. And now this is also the dish, type of dish, where when I make pasta, I almost always add a lot of fresh basil, a lot of olives, you know, uh, with pretty much every dish I make, and garlic. This is the only pasta dish where I don't add garlic, and I don't add basil, and I don't add olives. Basil and olives are going to clash with the bacon, and the bacon is the star of the show in this particular dish. Okay, so you don't want to, you want, don't want anything clashing. Okay. Now, uh, as far as garnish, like I said, you know, uh, uh, green onion that, that's going to look good. I, I like contrasting colors: green onion, and tomato. That's going to look really nice on there. And it was really very close to being finished. So, uh, just going to give it a bit of a stir. Mushrooms are looking good. Okay, so this is a very, very simple dish. You can actually make this basically with the noodles, the bacon, the egg, and the Parmesan cheese. Anything else is extra. You know, if you want to throw in some, uh, some seafood, you know, like that fake, fake crab meat, or get some uh, pre-cooked shrimp, or get some, some little prawns, saute them up from one at the last minute. If you got a leftover Costco chicken in the fridge, you don't know what to do with, you know, cut some cut some pieces off that and throw it on, you know, throw it in right now, you know, warm it up and then you could use that. But traditionally, I just like this dish to be bacon and mushrooms and onion and then Parmesan cheese and, you know, our garnish. So that's, I, I like to keep it simple. And that's the thing about this dish is it is a very simple dish. It really is. Okay, so our noodles are done. I can tell just by looking at them. I've cooked noodles and pasta so many times, I can tell that it's, it's cooked. So I'm just going to get ready to drain these off. And before I do that, I'll just give this one more final stir, because this is pretty much done too. Everything's come together beautifully right at the same time. That's good. Okay. So. Now we're going to just drain that off. there for a second and I'll bring it over here now I'm going to put this right here and then put this back into here now it's kind of the tricky part right here I'm going to get rid of your fork we're going to add this and it's going to cook as I'm, I'm adding it in it's going to totally cook okay um, don't add it too fast or you end up with scrambled eggs and you don't want to put it back on the stove or you'll end up with an omelet believe me so just a little bit of egg at a time. Just keep stirring and stirring and stirring like that. And you can see it's already starting to come together. 
It's making a nice creamy sauce. And like I said, when I say creamy, I mean a texture only, okay? I don't know if you can see that, right? Just like that, see? It's looking really good, okay? So I'm gonna add a bit more egg. Okay, there we go. And some Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna keep a little bit for a garnish. There, look at that, beautiful. Okay, now comes the main attraction. Okay, see this is cooked, the eggs are cooked already. They, they're just completely cooked in there very nicely. Now, take that off, put that there. And like I said, the star of the show right here. You put that in like that. And if those eggs weren't cooked before, which they are, but if they weren't, they're gonna cook now, believe me. Once again, just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. And I'm gonna add just a touch more egg. Now at this point, if I want to use some of this water that I took out to make it a bit more saucy, I could do that. But I don't need to do that. I can see that the, the egg here is just enough, so I'm just gonna leave that. But that was the whole idea of uh, removing some of that liquid. Because if I want to be a bit more saucy, I would do that at this point. But I don't need to. Okay, we're ready to plate. And as you can see, this did not take long at all. Look at that, I'm gonna get all that goodness out of there. Oh man, that's fantastic. Oh yeah, that, that's perfect. That, that turned out really, really good. Very happy with that. So we'll take that, put that over here. And then, now, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Whoop, that'll go on last. I'm going to put this on right here just like that. That's our nice garnish just like that. Look at that. Man, is that something? Hey, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. goes better with pasta than a nice Cabernet. Look at that. Beautiful. Put that there. There, look at that. Ain't that something? And that didn't take long at all. That did not take very long. Can you see that? Can you smell that? Isn't that something? I mean, that, that bacon is just unbelievable. And that is so easy to make. Excuse me. And of course, I didn't make it just to look at it. So I'm gonna have a little taste. That's the first thing that hits you, is that creaminess and that bacon, that bacon flavor and the creaminess and the cheese all at once. You know, you can't go wrong with bacon. Everybody loves bacon. And when you add mushrooms, you know, onion, Parmesan cheese, you know, it's, it's a perfect marriage. It really is, you know. Those things all go together. A little bit of tomato on there, you know, bacon tomato. I mean, it's fantastic. It all goes together so well, so good. And these, these noodles are just, just a little bit past al dente. Mm. Well, no, I would say those noodles are, are, are al dente, pretty much al dente. Very good. Oh man, that was so good. Okay, well, anyways, I'm going to sit down and eat this. And I just want to say uh, thank you very much for dropping in. This is the Easy Kitchen, and until we eat again, I'm Chef Mark, and thank you for stopping by, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Cheers.